Edmund X has released the song of the year in the form of his fire take on One Two Buckle My Shoe. One Two Buckle My Shoe Three Four Buckle Some More. The king of farts and cringes professed his love for the ancient nursery rhyme in a series of videos, notably with a piece captioned "Bro's favorite song started playing" on the 25th of March, under which he wrote, "Should I make this an actual song?" With the comments resolving in a unanimous yes, of course he cooked up the next clip to reference his favorite nursery rhyme. This would manifest as a bit of Eddie standing captured and Who Let Bro Cook, released on the 9th of May in what appears to be a peer, as he prepares what would eventually become the most famous cover of the song in the world. Finally, the magnum opus that would send one, two, buckle my shoes stratospheric released on the 15th of April, wherein Eddie finally shows off his buckled shoes and sings in a high-pitched manner like some sort of deranged Spongebob impersonator. It could be argued that this is the part where he fully embraces the bit, only singing about the buckled shoes and not including any fart noises as is tradition in his other content. Naturally, his track has been picked up, appropriated, and shared by thousands, if not millions of people. Edmund X knows his audience extremely well. His videos on TikTok date back to only late last year, and many of them all already have insanely high view counts. His third and most popular rendition of One Two Buckle My Shoe has 32 million views as of the writing of this video, demonstrating a keen audience. As such, it's worth asking what makes these videos so enticing? Well, it could be argued Edmund does a fantastic job of bridging the gap between childhood and adulthood with his comedy. After all, he's still pretty young, and for him it wouldn't have been too many years ago that he would have been watching these nursery rhymes. It's pretty common to see this happen in schools and kindergartens, as well as for parents to play them on YouTube, so the tunes can get really, really stuck in people's heads. Around 2018, we had the same hype over Johnny Johnny Yes Papa, so the zesty nursery rhymes created specifically to entertain young children have seen consistent online presence for years. That being said, Edmund X has inserted fake everything under every video, so it's clear there are many who believed it wasn't satire initially, given how intense it is. However, what makes this particular bit so popular is the fact that it not only appeals to nostalgia and warps it, but it's also just damn catchy. Edmund has a decent singing voice, and that comes through here, demonstrating the fact that he actually put in quite a bit of effort into a satirical work. In short, we have a ridiculous tune spawned from an acknowledgement of silly nursery rhymes and the bridge between childhood and adulthood, which has been taken seriously enough for millions across the world to fall in love with its goofy, yet catchy, existence. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>